Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my April 26, 2015 Sunday vlog where basically I tell you guys what I've been up to for the past week, what video games I finished playing, what movies I finished watching, stuff like that. And from now on we're going to combine it with what other purchases I made throughout the week. Okay, so if I bought like toys or DVDs or something like that, we're going to combine it with this kind of haul video, alright? So, uh, I know what's inside this bag. Do you know? Obviously it's from Walmart. And uh, we got this action figure right here we're going to talk about it in a sec. But let's talk about the usual stuff. And then we're going to do Q&A and shout-outs. I know that John Candy dude really wants a shout-out. So we're going to give, give him a shout-out towards the end of the video and Q&A, alright? Um, games I completed this past week. <clears throat> I finished Sniper Elite 3. I could have finished this game last week, but I was like, I, I need to save it for this week's video. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything else to talk about. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, the game's not bad, but it's not that great either, all right? I really enjoyed the Sniper Elite series. I played V2. I played the first one on, on PlayStation 2, and I played the second one on PlayStation 3. So, of course, PlayStation 4, let's see how, how far the Sniper Elite series has gone, you know, in all these different generations. Let me just say this. I'm really glad I bought this. Uh, at a discounted price. I waited for the price to go down, uh, waited for it to get cheaper, and then I bought the game. I was actually considering buying this on launch day, and I'm really glad I didn't, okay? Because the game really wasn't that great. I enjoyed it, you know? I had fun playing it, but it really wasn't the game that I would probably pay $60 for, okay? So I'm really glad I didn't, uh, didn't be uh, buy it full price. Uh, but I, but I, I enjoyed it, okay? Okay, I, I can see myself going back and trying to get all the trophies and stuff like that, but not anytime soon. I'm so exhausted from this game, alright? I've even turned off the X, the X-ray and uh, the bullet time uh, uh, features just so I can get through the game faster. Like, that, that's, that's how annoying I was with the game, but, uh, but I really enjoyed it, okay? I, I, I didn't think it was that bad, but uh, certain after a while, you, know, you get tired of, of the gameplay, so there it is. <clears throat> the other game I completed this past week, I just finished this yesterday, Assassin's Creed Altair's Chronicles for a Nintendo DS. The game wasn't that bad. There's a lot of content. You know, I probably had like a good three days of playing. Um, <clears throat> uh, there is an HD version, <laughs> HD, uh, on mobile phones. Uh, you can download it. If you have an Android, you can probably download the game and play it. And it also has voice acting and stuff like that in the game. This one does not have voice acting. You have to read like bubbles on the screen and stuff like that. A um, couple annoying puzzles. Uh, the whole game is basically a platformer, puzzle, jumper type game, okay? Um, but look, it's a prequel to the console version, so if you think about it, this is the real, this is like Assassin's Creed Zero, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I enjoyed the game. Uh, I didn't think anything in the game was, was like, uh, super important to the entire series or anything like that. But, uh, it's fun, you know? Uh, I finished it, and, you know, there's no trophies and achievements, so the fact that I kept playing was, uh, uh, you know, it was fun, you know, whatever. Movies I completed this past week. Uh, my friends and I, we saw Batman vs. Robin, the latest of the DCU original animated movies. Uh, it brings back Damian Wayne from Son of Batman. And uh, <clears throat> we see Nightwing, we see Talon, we see the Court of Owls in this movie. There are the special features that are on the, on the disc. I, I listened to a little bit of the, of the commentary, and we saw the sneak peek of Justice League Gods and Monsters, which is the next movie that's coming out uh, after this one. Uh, my friends and I, we thought it was okay. <clears throat> it wasn't like anything to write home about. Um, they need to do something about the artwork, though. We got so confused because some one character looks like the others. Uh, the dude who plays Talon and the dude who plays Nightwing, you know, the, their, 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 their drawings, they look exactly the same. <laughs> and we got so confused because we got one character mixed up with the other. I know in certain universes, Talon and Robin are, are the same person. Um, and that confused us, too, because we, we were, you know, uh, familiar with that that uh, mythology. And this one kind of changes up a lot of the characters. And we were, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> you got to know which way, which uh, universe it belongs to and stuff like that. But whatever. It was, it was a good movie. I recommend it, okay? And finally, we, or, yeah, well, we already know about this, but I, I saw The Hobbit Battle 5 Armies again with my dad. Uh, and then we saw some of the special features on here, too. Um, there's this one... One special feature called Completing Middle Earth. I really enjoyed that. It's like like half an hour long ish, um, and uh, my dad and I really liked that special feature. We saw the movie. We already know what happens in it. We just want to watch it again, you know, just because the movie's actually pretty good. So uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, 
So some of the other stuff I have here, let's see, we got this Call of Duty action figure. I never thought I'd actually see this with my own eyes. I've seen pictures of it and stuff like that. When the first game came out, they actually made action figures of it. And look, it's 20 bucks. It's not 50 something like it is on eBay or whatever, you know? Uh, we got the British Special Ops. And he comes with a stand, from as I can see. He doesn't look like he moves a lot. There's not, not a lot of articulation and stuff like that. Uh, I really don't want to unbox him, <clears throat> but if you guys want me to unbox him, I can, you know. I'm not like, oh, I gotta keep it in mint condition and stuff like that. I, if you want me to open it, I can. I don't want to, but if you guys want to, I, I, I definitely... But look, there's other characters you can collect. Um, we got, like, uh, the Marine Corps with the flamethrower, a Marine Infantry, I got a dude with a machine gun, uh, British Special Ops. Well, I'm just gonna pause, and you guys can just... Read all this information right here. Okay. There you go. Alright. So, just want to show you guys that. Got a vintage stock. Vintage stock. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering what this bag has. I got another haul that uh, I could make its own video, I guess. It is the Fast and Furious Hot Wheels line. I got all of them. There's, a, let's see, six, eight. Eight cars you can collect, and, and I, I, I got all of them. I just went to Walmart, and they're, they're the all word. No one's buying them. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Let's go through each one of them. We got the Subaru uh, WRX STI. Okay. And then we got here the, the Dodge Charger. This is the, the signature car, the one that uh, Vin Diesel wears. So, this is Dom's car right here. Okay. You even got the thing on the hood. Uh, the next one we have here is a Ford GT40. And there you go. It's got the stripe in the middle right there. From a Fast Five, as it says right there. <clears throat> next one we have here is the 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport. There's the car. No. Next one we have here is the Buick Grand National. Look at that. Very nice looking car. Um, from the first movie, we got the Nissan 350Z. I say the first movie because it says right there. The Fast and Furious. Or does it say Tokyo Drift down there? It's got, it's got, some, it's got some weird words or uh, letters right there. Oh well. <laughs> uh, 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Mm -hmm. Daytona. <laughs> These are toys, alright. And the last one, last car we have here is a 94 Toyota Supra. Okay? From Too Fast, Too Fierce, apparently. So there it is. So, those are all the cars that I, I can see from the Fast and Furious line of Hot Wheels. And I'm pretty sure they're still being sold at uh, <clears throat> at Walmart right now. So let's do let's do uh, the shout outs. I know John Kenny wants his, so John Kenny 2, John Kenny 156, John Kenny on Xbox, John Kenny Nuketown uh, 2075. Uh, like, let's just say this. Every John Kenny out there, uh, every account that you want me to shout out to, I, I shout out to all of them, okay? It's just, uh, John Kenny everything, all right? <laughs> um... We got Pro Gamer, aka AVP Killer124, aka, aka a CGH Ghost Pan on, on, on PSN, uh, uh, Ben Martin123, Wolfing Dog, JJ the Great366, 19KDC93, Andrew Paul67, Dallas03, Echo Zeppelin, and Nexu Sultron. All right, you guys all got your your shout outs. Okay, there there you all are. Okay, I made this list on stream on Twitch. You guys went on there and you were like, hey, give us shout outs. So there it is. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do Q and A. We're going to answer every single question. That's right, every single question that you asked me in the last week's vlog, I'm going to answer in this one. Ugh. Let me get seated here. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. Is there any way to do oldest first? Nope, newest comments first. So the most recent one is Anthony Verma. He asked, 
I bought. I thought people were so mean to make you stop watching Doctor Who. That's not a question, so I'm not going to answer anything. <laughs> Lee Bradley, why did you decide to do YouTube and the stuff you do on YouTube? Yeah, I just got bored, I guess. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice hobby, you know, making videos. I used to just collect uh, collect these things and let it collect dust, you know. Uh, nice to show off my collections to some people. Gamer Thief, what is your favorite to buy games from, I, I guess he's asking what is your favorite store to buy games from. There's a store called CD Trade Posts. <clears throat> they have a lot of old stuff. Like, uh, they sell PS2 and PS1 and Atari games and stuff like that. I like I like going there. They also sell t-shirts and, and consoles, DVDs and Blu-rays, stuff like that. Okay. And it's only in Kansas, by the way. <clears throat> as far as I know. Um, Ferris Khan. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I don't know. I thought about it in the past. You know, I always want invisibility, the ability to run fast. That'd be pretty cool. You know, so th those are a couple that I, I probably would pick right out of the spot. Um, Seth Armstrong, <clears throat> what are your thoughts on GTA 5 so far? I do have Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Xbox 360. And my initial impressions is that this is the same game that everyone else plays. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen so many videos, so many walkthroughs and let's plays and playthroughs on, on, online and stuff like that. Like, I, I know the game backwards and forwards just from watching people play it on, uh, on, uh, on YouTube. Kind of like some, how some people say they, they love Minecraft and never actually really played it themselves, but they watch other people play it, you know? Um, it's the same thing for me with Grand Theft Auto V, so for me, I started playing the game and I'm like, yeah, this is the same game everyone else is playing, you know? I, I, I've seen this mission, I know what to do, uh, and I kind of got bored because of that, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. It's also really difficult to kill yourself in the game. I don't know if you, uh, like in previous Grand Theft Auto games, you can just, you know, drive a car into the water and you'll die. This game, you're like, you're, <laughs> you're invincible pretty much. The game, the, the car flips right back over if you fall off a cliff or something. Um, anyway, <clears throat> Alan Mendez, what are your favorite things to collect? I like collecting DVDs and Blu-rays mainly. Um, the random guy, which handheld console do you like the most and why? I like the PSP. PlayStation Portable, mainly because it has so many, uh, a, a very diverse uh, library of games. <clears throat> it has a really good library of games. It's got a, a Parasite Eve game, Third Birthday, a couple Metal Gear games like like uh, Metal Gear Acid, uh, Portable Ops, uh, 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 Pro Ops Plus, stuff like that, you know. Um, Peace Walker, whatever. Even got a couple of Grand, Grand Theft Auto games too. It's got Liberty City stories and Vice City stories on there, so. So yeah, and, and a bunch of other ones that I, I really enjoyed. Loco Roco is actually one of my favorite games on, on the system. Um, <clears throat> New Beb Rock, can you give me a shout out, David? Please, because it's my birthday and my name is Cameron and you're my favorite YouTuber. All right, Cameron, happy birthday. New Beb Rock, people. And look, he's got a second one, too. Hello, David. I just want to say that I have been watching your videos from start. And I think you are doing an amazing job, and you are so cool, and good luck with the channel. Why, thank you. All right. Andrew R. asks, Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3? I like Modern Warfare 2, uh, 3. Yeah. 3 is the one that that's the has the survival, right? Resistance, stuff like that in France. Um, I like the campaign. I like the co-op. <clears throat> My friends and I try to get as much waves as we can and stuff like that. It's fun. Modern Warfare 2 has, has stuff like that too, but it's limited, you know? It's not like unending with helicopters running after you and stuff like that. Um, well, they do, but, you know, the, you know what I mean. I like I like the survival mode in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Venom X Blast. Yes, my questions have been answered. Wonderful. K23 East, when are you going to make a PS Vita video? Uh, I made one just uh, like six days ago. It says six days ago, and I, I saw this comment. I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. He's like the bazillion person that who asked me about it, so I, I went ahead and make that PS Vita video this past week. Uh, when did you start YouTube? Uh, Barry the Time Lord asked. 2007. That's when I got my my uh, my profile. J Tunes. If you can be in any game or movie, which ones would it be? Uh, I would have to be in a Star Wars movie. That would be nice. Uh, Poop Malik. Nice haul, David. You should try watching Arrow. Uh, I have seen the first season. I have not seen the second season, but I do have the second season. 
Who's your favorite Doctor Who doctor? It's, uh, it's a kind of a tie between Christopher Eccleston and uh, Matt Smith. I like both of them as the Doctor. You know, I like their personalities uh, and all that. Justin English, what's your favorite video game? It is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. All right. Warmaker55678 uh, for Q&A. What's your second or your third favorite video game? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, probably one of the games on my top 10 list. I'm just going to say, I, I don't know where it is, but I really like Resident Evil 3. And not, not a lot of people like that game, but I, I sure do. And um, Tomb Raider Chronicles, the fifth one, the one where, you know, uh, they have a bunch of flashback levels and stuff like that. A lot of people didn't like that game, but I enjoyed it. You know, it's got it's got its own charm and stuff like that for, for me anyway. WW Skater Clone, the Cleveland Show season one. He's referring to my my haul last week. Why would you submit yourself to that kind of torture? <laughs> I have completed the first season of the Cleveland Show. I actually should have put it with the with the, with the rest of them. Uh, it was okay. I didn't think the characters were as memorable or as lovable as the, the Family Guy characters. But whatever. I I, I eh, you know I like the show. Jesse Johns for the Q and A. When you ever starting YouTube, how did you feel about it? Huh? <clears throat> uh, I guess when I first got my YouTube, I was like, hey, I got a YouTube. This is great. You know, <laughs> that, that's how I felt. Um, uh, Drew Schnebel, love your vids, make more. And SpongeBob South, how are you today? I am good. Thank you for asking. All right, so that's all the questions we have. 22 comments. In, uh, in my last vlog. If you have more questions, post it in this video that you're watching right now, and I'll answer it next week. Alright? So thank you for watching, people. Rate, favorite, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.